They say weight is just a number. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to We What I Eat. My breakfast, same old, same old. I am obsessed with this oat milk latte. Even Shui Mi Tao. Oh, you guys may not know who she is. She's my dearest helper slash assistant slash COO of my online English course. All right, even Shui Mi Tao caved in and purchased it and endorsed the oat milk. All right, I want to respond to some of the most frequently asked questions about my bike. First, I usually ride for at least forty minutes at a resistance of six to eight, depending on how I feel that day. Rule of thumb is not to give yourself any pressure when you're doing your routine workout. Second, for stretching after workout, I'll just do like this on the bike, body hinging forward, feeling the stretch along the calves. For lunch, a Pon Shengus fervent recommendation. I try this chicken fritter cheese. Pineapple bun, and it tastes pretty good. And here is his description. Hello, everyone. So this is the best pineapple bun you ever get in your life. It's the perfect blend between protein and carbs, chicken and pineapple. And here's a mythbuster. There's no pineapple in pineapple bun. Savory and sweetness, and the east and the west. Well, as you guys hear, what can I say? He should be working in marketing instead of fitness. I love the lighting in my kitchen, and I always can't help checking myself out. I tried a new brand of coffee capsule, and it tastes very, very good. It has a very strong caramel taste, but it's black coffee, so you can enjoy the aroma of caramel while just having black coffee, which adds no burden to your calories count. I love a nice hot coffee while working. It just gives me such a nice energy boost. Today is our tennis learning day, and here is my OOTD. I love my crop top and my tennis skirt, and Shengge just looks like this. Okay, you guys can see. And my free Celine tote bag is matchy matchy with the outfit as well. So it's my third and Shengge's second lesson, and we're still complete beginners. We're still trying to learn how to hold a racket and how to hit the ball forehand. So initially, I signed up for the lesson. It was one on one, and then Shengge said he was also very interested. So he came with me to the second lesson, and afterwards, he decided to stay on board. I have to say, learning with a partner is much more fun than learning individually because it arouses my competitive instinct. And not to mention, it's a very healthy activity that offers some wholesome fun for the weekend, and also a time when we can spend time together, learn together, and it's just a very good experience overall. So we played for about two hours, and my activity level that day was like maxed out. And for dinner, we went to have sushi. Long time no eat. Shengge would always order a pint of beer, and now I'm trying to steal some from him. Sushi is, can I say, a relatively healthy kind of meal because you have lots of protein like fish, and it's ordered plate by plate, so it kind of minimizes the chance of food waste. And I just love the taste. It's not too heavy for summer, especially after workout, right? You're so sweaty and dead on your feet. And sushi is just a very good comfort food. We went to Muji after dinner, and I saw my favorite popcorn. But when I checked the nutrition label, um, okay, bye. Instead, we chose tea. Huh? How unimaginative! So this one is cold brew. It means you don't have to use hot water to make tea. Their miso soup is also quite tasty, especially like at night when you feel super hungry, but it's already inappropriate to eat anything. The soup offers an instant relief, I would say, to your stomach. So that pretty much concludes our shopping. I hope you guys enjoy this episode, and I'll see you next time.